Taiwan is working on a training simulator for its first domestically produced submarine. According to the National Zhongshan Institute of Science and Technology, this simulator will be built for a sub-prototype that will be ready for testing this September. Over the past 28 years, the Institute has developed 240 simulators for everything from fighter jets to naval ships. The simulators let soldiers practice skills in real scenarios while cutting down ammunition use and reducing risk of injury. In recent years, the Institute has also been applying AI to its training systems. Soldiers in full gear open fire against the target. Elsewhere, troops administer emergency treatment to a wounded comrade. It's all taking place in a war simulation room developed by the National Zhongshan Institute of Science and Technology. The simulator can reduce fuel and ammunition consumption and allow soldiers to repeatedly execute battle skills. It can lower the risk of injury and enable high-risk training, such as emergency operations. It can also reduce damage to equipment, effectively decreasing wear and tear. It also breaks away from the limitations of a real battlefield. It can be used to show real scenarios while avoiding disputes between the military and civilians while maintaining secrecy. The Institute has been developing simulation technology for almost 30 years. It's already produced 240 different systems for land, sea, air and shooting training, as well as special scenarios. It will develop a simulation for the indigenous submarine prototype due for completion in September. Based on our assessments, we believe that the development of this technology is feasible. We will incorporate applications to fit the needs of the military. Once the project protocol is complete, our institute will be very happy to take on this task. Artificial intelligence has also been incorporated into military training. For example, it's applied in unmanned aerial vehicles, in target recognition for drones. We incorporated AI technologies into things like that. As for the introduction of AI to training elements, we currently have some projects underway, including smart air combat and tabletop war game systems, as well as drone combat systems. All of these are under development. With technology quickly evolving, Taiwan's military is keeping pace to maximize Taiwan's combat capabilities.